Happy Earth Day! Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to read a book called It's Earth Day. Earth Day is April 22nd every year and this year, 2020, it is the 50th, 50, 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So, Earth Day is all about helping to save the planet and take care of the planet and nature and the oceans and all those things. So that's what this book is about, okay? Today we learned all about Earth Day. It is a special day. It is a day for us to celebrate our planet. And our planet is planet Earth. We watched a movie about Earth's climate. You guys remember the word climate? Climate is weather, but weather that stays the same for a long time. Climate is how hot or cold it usually is outside. The Earth is getting hotter and the ice at the North Pole is melting. That's where the polar bears live. Yikes, I have to help slow the melting. Let me show you guys a picture of a polar bear. He doesn't have very much ice to be on. Sad, huh? Dad, I asked, what can we do to stop the ice from melting? Let's find out, he said. So here we go. He's looking up on the computer. It says, it turns out that the energy we use doing everyday things like driving cars, watching television is what's making the earth warmer. All that energy. We have to save energy, I said. I turned off the computer and all the lights as fast as I could so I could save energy. Be careful, dad, I said. What happened to dad in the dark? You fall over this, fall over the ottoman. <laughs> the next morning, when little sister was brushing her teeth, I turned the faucet off. Saving water helps the polar bears, I said. And it's true, when you're brushing your teeth, you don't need to leave the water running. You can turn it off, brush your teeth, and when you're ready to rinse, then you can turn it back on. I didn't want to take the school bus the next morning, but mom said the bus saves energy because all the moms and dads don't have to drive their cars. And that's true. Good thinking. And we learned a song about the people on the bus helping our air last week. After school, my friends and I collected cans bottles and newspapers and then took them to the recycling center. We put the money we earned in a big jar to give to a Critterville charity called We Love Polar Bears. The next day was really Earth Day. Our whole class went to the park to plant trees. Trees are very good for the earth. They help suck up bad stuff in the air. It's true that trees are what help us to breathe good, clean air. It was hard work planting trees. Come on guys, I said, do it for the earth. Do it for the polar bears. We made signs that said, Reduce, reuse, recycle. Then we put the signs up everywhere to remind everyone how they can help too. So that means to make less trash, to reuse things. That means to use things again and again and to recycle. That night I could not sleep. So I went to the kitchen for a snack. Then I saw a little sign that said, climate control. <gasps> That's it, I yelled. I know how to save the polar bears. I have to change the climate. 
The next morning, I got right to work. I made a list just like mom would do. Next, I drew up the plans, just like dad would do. Little sister helped me collect everything on the list. The most important thing on the list was ice. We needed lots of ice. What's he gonna do? I put all the parts together. What is it, Mom asked. I said, it's a climate control machine. Hmm. It will cool down the earth and save the polar bears. Well, how does it work, asked Mom. I said that the, the fan blows air over the ice and makes the earth's air cooler. And that keeps the ice at the North Pole from melting. And that is what will save the polar bears. I put a thermometer on top. I waited for the climate control machine to start working, but my ice kept melting. I had to borrow some from everyone in my neighborhood. I worked very hard all day long, but the temperature stayed the same. Finally, after it became dark, it got colder. Hooray! Do you know what that means? And as much as he was trying to change the air to be cooler with his, his climate control machine, with the fan blowing over the ice, temperature was still staying, staying the same. The next morning, the temperature went right back up. My climate controlled machine doesn't work, I said. It'll never save the polar bears. That's not true, said Dad. Because of what we learned, I turn off my computer at night. Little sister turns off the water when she brushes her teeth, and we all turn off the lights when we leave the room. Then Dad added, you and your friends collected bottles, cans, and newspapers to recycle. You also planted trees for fresh, clean air. It's true, they did a lot of things to help the earth. Wow, I said, we are all climate control machines because everything we do can help save the earth. Don't forget the polar bears. So it's true, we should do those things every day. A little bit of, of saving energy and saving water will help to take care of our earth, not just on Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, guys. So I thought I'd just finish off by showing guys some pictures of a whole bunch of reasons why we should take care of our earth to help elephants and our oceans our oceans are full of a lot of plastic right now so we should help them look so the pictures on the left are is a nice habitats and on the right dirty um look at our beaches and little sea turtles being born and they help take care of our trees and lots and lots of reasons to help Take care of our earth.